What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to weld out these overhead T-joints or a 4F weld. For the most part, you're just coming in at a 45 degree angle so you can tie into the top and bottom plate. But I've noticed when I hit, you know, a 45 degree angle like this, sometimes it doesn't tie into the top as well. So what I like to do is kind of just, you know, tilt the rod up, focus on the top plate, and, you know, gravity will allow the puddle to fall into this plate. You kind of got to just watch both sides of the puddle, make sure it's burning symmetrically, but... For the most part, that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the first pass and then show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is my first pass. Whatever rod angle you decide to use, just make sure you're tying into the top and the bottom symmetrically. You know, if you focus on, you know, the bottom, you, you might miss some tie-ins on the top. So just periodically bounce back and forth, you know, make sure everything looks good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put in our second pass. All right, for this second pass, you really want to aim about at this toe of the weld. So you're covering about 50% uh, to 60% of this first pass, you know. So you're going to have some of your weld on the bottom plate while covering about 50% of this weld. And keep this pass as straight as possible because if this pass is really straight and looks good, your third pass is going to look even better because, you know, if this is all wavy and whatever, you'll see it on the bottom of this top weld. So just try to keep this pass as straight as possible. All right, so here's my second pass. You really just want to focus on covering about 50 to 60% of this first pass to allow yourself to have a groove for the third pass. Leaving yourself that groove gives you a spot where you need to stop. And if you stop right at the top of that weld of your first pass, you know, you should be covering 50% of this se second pass. So that little groove is important. And just try to keep it symmetrical. Keep the groove the same size from the beginning to the end. And for your rod angle on this third pass, it's going to be very similar to your rod angle on the first pass, where you're going to kind of tilt it up to tie it into the top and allowing gravity to let the puddle fall right into place on that second pass. And at the end of your three passes, should look something like this.